Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of On The Paint Table. It's my weekly show where you see what I got done, what I'm working on, and what is coming up. So this week I painted five models, not a huge paint thing, but I'm still working my way through my Gale Force 9 uh, Aliens, another glorious day in the core. Painting one of my favorite characters from the film, um, and then finishing off the scenery train pack that I was working on last week. I also did a ton of assembly, assembling a fleet for a billion suns, um, getting the mold lines all scraped off of my um, Great F Legion. For Battletech, uh, the GDL, I want to paint up Grayson Carlisle's mech and a third Lance so that I have a full company of Great Death Legion. Um, and I also cleaned and got airbrushed uh, some stuff for finish up February. I got a few projects kind of lingering, and one of them is my Ultramarines that uh, you've been seeing the ongoing campaign with. I've got like the Remnant Squad, my Space Marine Heroes, I want to finish, as well as a Company Ancient and a Gravis Armor Captain. I just want to get done. Um, there's five intercessors too. I want to use February to finish off like these little bits and pieces left over from various different army projects that are kind of just sitting on my dining room table, taking up space, making a mess. Um, and if I get them done, then they are out of here. They're done. Uh, I do like the idea of my company having a single squad of like just regular non-primaris marines left. These are the veterans. You know, they're the they're the dudes that that have seen it all and done it all. Um, and I'm once I got them painted, they're just a nice addition to my ultramarines army of like mostly Primaris models. So uh, let's take a look at what got done and what is coming up. So first things first, here's everybody's favorite cigar chomping sergeant of the Colonial Marine Corps. It's a pwn, uh, chomping on a cigar, hanging out there with his pulse rifle, pointing and saying if uh, you'd like him to uh, fetch your slippers for you. I painted him up the same way as other Colonial Marines from uh, the last video using the Army Painter, make, Army Painter Mega Paint set. <laughs> Kind of a tongue twister. Uh, and my last four whaling yutani crates, I did them in green. I, the previous ones I did in white and brown, um, just to give them like a bit of variety. Uh, so these were army green as a base coat for all his fatigues. Uh, and then I used, I think, leather brown. Um, and uh, the like pine green, I can't remember the name of that one either, <laughs> with the, the strong tone over top. Uh, that's necromancer cloak with the dark tone for the boots and the pulse rifle. And I believe, um, Dark stone for the fleshes, and then blend it up through some some uh, flesh tone mixed into dark stone. There, everything was edged with some mummy wraps just to kind of make the armor edges pop compared to the fatigues and stuff. And he is all done. Uh, these were army green mixed with a bit of the mummy wraps, and then dry brushed up, uh, and then just painting the details a little whaling yutani symbol there, so that you can see it's all done. Uh, and that's like all the train now done for another glorious day in the core um, and my ultimate badasses i finished one out of the six in there uh, i gotta finish up drake wisbowski uh Fro no not frost uh drake wisbowski dietrich uh, and then carter burke as well and that'll be that'll be that box finished too i'll try and get that done this week uh and then of course i've got three more episodes to air of the uh glorious day in the core like core game playthroughs uh, and then I'll be able to start the, the expanded stuff from the get away from her, you bitch, <laughs> which is the second, um, expansion for aliens. Yep. And there's uh crow Dietrich frost, Dr sorry, crow Dietrich, Drake, Wisbowski and uh, Burke who are left to go. And then here's my brigade miniatures um, fleet for a billion suns to start off with. I got four jump points, a uh, big installation, and I've got some, uh, frigates, some or light utility ships if I want to use them as that too. Some Corvettes, um, a big um, uh, the what you want to call it a uh, frigate, and then three recon or four recon wings uh, to fly around and, and do some stuff. So this will be enough to get me started and try out playing the game. Um, you actually don't really write an army list in this game. You just pick what you want to have spawn. So painting like a cool collection of ships. This is just assembled and primed. I put some brass rod on, mounted them all on some MDF bases. Um, so they're ready to, to hit with the airbrush and get some basic colors down. And of course I'm going to do those like the, um, <laughs> the colonial Marine Corps probably to match my alien stuff. I like the idea of having this kind of like tie together. Uh, and then over here is this big giant installation. It's a big resin piece from brigade once again. Uh, and this will probably all get painted Monday or Tuesday next week. Uh, then I got my remnants over here, uh, all airbrushed with that great cobalt blue from Green Stuff World. Uh, and the um, the, f the only repeats I have here, because I don't have all of them, I don't have the ones that came in the Lair of the Necron set, I got a couple of bolters I had to redo. So <laughs> you can see there's, there's, there's helmetless and helmeted versions of these two. And then um, these guys I got helmetless and hel head uh, basically one of each, one with the helmet on, one with the helmet off and slight reposes as well. So they're not exactly the same. And then Mr. Missile Launcher. And I've got all, all 10 of the squaddies done for my squad. Uh, and then my Gravis Armor fella here with an Ultramarine symbol on his back. He needs to get painted up. And that will give me basically 6 out of 12 
finished for what I have unpainted sitting on my dining room table right now. I just need to paint the five more intercessors and the ancient, the primaris ancient, and I should be rocking and rolling. And I scraped mold lines and primed these folks. I got Grace and Carlisle there. Uh, leader of the Great Death Legion, a Wasp, a Griffin, and a Rifleman um, to add to my collection for that. And that's going to give me sort of some of the classic mechs that are part of the GDL um, to play some... I, I want to play some more one-off games of uh, Alpha Strike, kind of testing out what we like with dice before we start the campaign. And the plan there is we'll... Um, Play it. We want to try it as well using the uh, the hex maps. So trying on the hex maps, playing Alpha Strike, and just like converting all the inches into hexes. And then yeah, that's just my my example of what they end up looking like. <laughs> I need to I need to paint them to look like this. And I found some other stuff too. Well, just while I was digging through models today, some brush cases, like metal brush cases. I don't know why I'm showing you these. They've traveled all across everywhere, <laughs> holding my brushes. These are my travel cases for a long time. You can see they're splattered with paint water. And super gross. And they have a few okay brushes left in here. Some dry brushes, some old blue handle fine detail brushes. It's actually in pretty good shape. It's not bad at all. Uh, so yeah, it was a cool find. And this will be used to, to store and or paint with probably next and week. And finally I got these. Oh man. Well, you can tune in tomorrow to see what's in this. But basically the Blacklist uh, Miniatures uh, Fantasy Series 1 Kickstarter started to deliver. And it is beyond bananas. <laughs> the core box is 70 plastic miniatures, and if you're a big fan of like D&D, Frostgrave, Rangers, yeah, whatever, these are gonna be these are gonna be pretty cool. They're all hard plastic, no vinyl, um, and I'll be doing them uh, like a, a whole like look through basically on widgets and wonders tomorrow. So you got another on the paint table done and on the books for this week. Uh, not a big week this week, only painted five models, but I did a lot of assembly, and of course we are doing at home schooling right now, so lots of busyness during the week. It was also Cash's birthday on Tuesday, so I had a lot of running around. Um, getting ready to uh, to basically like give them the best day we could, you know what I mean, at home. Uh, and doing lots of sledding and winter activities to outside while we can, because there's lots of snow here in St. Catharines and it's super cold. I'll see you next week, I guess, for, I'm going to try and do one a day. So, so seven miniatures at least, I should have the fleet done. I really want to get the rest of the alien stuff done, and I really want to hit this like finish up February thing. If I can get everything that was here finished next week, I'll feel like I've got a grips on <laughs> my, my painting cue at the moment. Of course, tomorrow you're gonna see the giant box of stuff that's staring me in the face that I'm actually really excited to paint. Um, and I need to not get distracted. I'm also really excited to write uh, coming up too. So I've got a lot of like, a lot of pans in the fire and things that I wanna put my energy into. And of course, only a limited amount of time. So we'll see you next week, see what I get done. Then I'm Ash, have a great night. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you uh, want to support the channel, of course, like and subscribe and hit the little bell below so you get notifications when I post future content. I do post stuff seven days a week. Uh, if you want to support the channel um, further, you can, of course, buy a t-shirt through Spreadshirts, um, buy a measuring gauge or objective markers from Death Ray Designs, um, or, of course, most importantly, there is Patreon. Patreon is what makes all this possible. Uh, keeps the lights on, pays for the studio costs, pays for the equipment, model costs, and everything else, and most importantly, um, puts food in my kids' bellies and a roof over their heads. Uh, uh, big thanks to everyone past, future, who supported me. Uh, I do this stuff because of you guys, and of course, I will continue doing it as long as I can. 